right, hey y'all, welcome to my. It's awkward. Hey y'all. Doing it again. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Honestly, I'm gonna be like real honest with you guys. Uh, the only thing that I have ever bought from Too Faced would be the eyeshadow palettes. And I have never tried any of their facial products until now, like their face makeup, I guess I should say until now. So yeah, I was really wanting a new foundation and concealer and just buy some new makeup because I have it in a while and I was like I'm just gonna lips are ashy I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go for it I'm just gonna go for it I will put like all the stuff that it claims somewhere up in here or in the description box but let's be honest y'all already know what it claims y'all can read about it it's a matte foundation and does it work so that's what i'm here for and i'm here for colors for all my brown girls so um i got one of the of course the colors that jackie Ina came out with with Too faced and i have the color in butter pecan or butter pecan <laughs> And I am going to be testing that out along with the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have warm sand in the concealer. Okay. Okay, let's just get right into it. We've already done like three minutes of talking. First of all, it's expensive. And second of all, it's very good. So, yeah, okay. I hate it because it's so much at the bottom that I cannot get out. Come on! I'm going to apply just one pump of the foundation to the back of my hand using my beauty blender and I'm going to blend that out. blender I always try to like I'll kind of tap it lightly to spread the product but then I'll really kind of push it in there to really get that flawless finish so you don't want to like hurt yourself pressing it in but you want to in my opinion it always works best for me when I like firmly press it in and I don't just like lightly tap on it and it is looking a little orange to me but I don't know if it's looking super, it's looking a little orange on camera too. So that is my neck. So I like the color. Um, I think it does pull a little bit on the orange side, just slightly. However, um, it's probably one of the closest matches I have had in a very long time as far as foundation goes. So next I'm gonna go in with the Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. I have a big forehead so I don't need to like, I need more bronzer and contour like darkness on my forehead. I don't need to be uh, highlighting it. That doesn't make no sense. No, we need to tone it down, son. Okay. Let me tell you guys. That is really nice. It is a really smooth. It is already super easy to blend. Out. This is nice. All right, you guys, my face is looking so flat, it's ridiculous. But that is how it looks. I feel like it's like bringing out my bags too. <laughs> Lord. I am going to set it with Laura Mercier Translucent 
um, a setting powder because that's something that I always um, pull for. So I'm just gonna keep it consistent instead of trying new stuff that's not fair. how we are looking I am going to um, finish my makeup dust the rest of this powder off and then I'll be back so this is the final makeup look and this is how everything came together let me tell you I am absolutely in love with this foundation and concealer together. I have combination skin. Um, I do get dry around the forehead and then around the mouth at times, but I pretty much have like more so oily skin, oily combo skin. Um, and so far this is looking so good, so good. The concealer blended out beautifully. My only thing is about the concealer is not the finish or anything like that. I may get another color um probably just like this one above this or my like two above it or one above it um as far as color wise just a little bit lighter because sometimes not all the time I do like a little bit more highlight underneath my eye and this one is it's not my skin color but I want it to be a little bit brighter at times that's why I'm not returning this one but I'll probably pick up another one it's definitely full coverage does it say it's supposed to be full coverage I don't really know because I don't know where I put the box but um for me without even reading the specs or anything like that because I don't really know what it says it's definitely a full coverage foundation it's definitely a mattifying foundation as well definitely matte I like that as far as me saying it's matte it's not like my skin feels super super dry that's probably what I really like about it I know you guys have tried one of those foundations where it's a mattifying foundation and you're fully aware of it but you didn't know it was just gonna make you look a hot mess like they just it just you feel your face like being stiff and it just feels more drying versus matte this doesn't feel dry to me at all. It just feels really good. It looks really natural. And I look very airbrushed and flawless and I love it. So um, my husband and I are going um, out for drinks tonight for a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time and celebration. Just in case I don't come back, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope I was helpful or all that great stuff. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, duh, at jmurray. And that's it, you guys. I will talk to you guys in my next video or I will be back later on. Who knows? Bye, guys.